Welcome to Electron Online. In this video, we're going to talk about series and parallel circuits. What is the difference between a series and a parallel circuit? And how can we tell the difference? The first circuit here is what we call a series circuit. It has one element called the voltage source and three more elements, each resistors. The definition of a series circuit is such that two elements are considered to be in series if they share a node exclusively. Take resistor R1 and resistor R2. In between there's a node. They both share that node and that node is not shared by any other element inside the circuit. Therefore R1 and R2 are in series with one another. R2 and R3 are in series with one another because they also share a node which is not shared by any other element. R2 and V, the voltage source, are also in series because they share a node and is not shared by any other elements. And between the voltage source and R1, there is another node and they also only share that node and not with any other element. Therefore, in between every two elements, there is a node that is not shared by any other node. Therefore, this entire circuit can be considered a series circuit. Here we have a parallel circuit. Notice that this particular node is shared by R1 and R2, but it is also shared by the voltage source. Therefore, that is not a series connection. The definition of a parallel circuit or elements that are connected in parallel, two or more elements share the same two nodes. You can see here that this node is shared by R1 and R2, and this node is shared by R1 and R2. Since both of these, these elements, share this node and that node, you can say that R1 and R2 are in parallel, therefore this is a parallel circuit. Another way of looking at it is the following way. If you have a series circuit, you can then say that the current through the entire circuit is the same for every element. In case of two elements, you can say that since R1 and R2 are in series, because they share a single node exclusively, not shared by any other element, you can then say that the current through R1 and R2 must be the same. And as we've established that all of these elements are in series, we can then say that the current through all the elements, therefore the entire circuit, must be the same everywhere. In the case of a parallel circuit, you can say that the voltage is the same for each branch each branch that is in parallel of course. Here we have two branches that are in parallel, therefore the voltage across this branch must be equal to the voltage across that branch. For any series of branches that are in parallel, or for any number of branches, because I don't want to confuse you, for any number of branches that are in parallel, you can always say that the voltage across each branch that is in parallel must be equal. That's the characteristic of a parallel branch, and this is the characteristic of a series branch. Keep that in mind, keep that memorized because this comes in really handy in the future when we start doing analysis on circuits.